Hello, everyone. My name is Rachel Baser, and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist, and I work as a food and nutrition coordinator in the Center for Health Disparities, Innovations, and Studies. Thank you to Xavier University for hosting this health disparities conference and for the opportunity to share this special project during the COVID-19 pandemic. And thanks to my colleagues as well who are listed here, Dr. Rainville, Dr. Ford, and Dr. Wu, who contributed to this document. We work on a cooperative agreement with the CDC known as REACH, Racial and Ethnic Approaches to Community Health. Our priority population is Asian Americans in West and Southeast Michigan. Along with the REACH funding, we received funding to work on flu and COVID-19 initiatives in our priority population. This funding helped us expand our work and was and still is very needed. We were one of the first recipients to complete the initial needs assessment for their work, while other REACH teams were struggling to complete or even get started on theirs. Requirements of the funding included a needs assessment utilizing surveys, listening sessions, and or town halls. CDC staff provided technical assistance in a variety of ways, including virtual meetings that were open to all recipients and they encouraged collaborative sharing of information. During these meetings, several recipients requested guidance on conducting a needs assessment and specifically on listening sessions. To address this need, we developed our li virtual listening sessions toolkit. So it contains step-by-step -step instructions for creating listening session scripts, suggested actions to take before, during, and after the listening session, sample emails for participants, and a sample script and survey. Access to technology or internet is needed to participate and may be challenging for some participants, so our toolkit provides guidance for this. So there are these are examples of the pages inside the toolkit, steps for success, a sample survey to take before the listening session, and a sample script. We have a list of 11 steps that need to be completed before the listening session, including the purpose of the listening session, creating a script, deciding if you're going to give the participants incentives like gift cards and what amount, how those will be funded, creating a consent form and obtaining permission from your institution's IRB, recruiting six to 12 participants, sending an email with the consent form and survey link, and sending two reminders before the session is very important. One week prior to the listening session and the day before the listening session, and also selecting a moderator to lead the listening session. So a bonus to this toolkit is that it can be used for any health topic by public health professionals, students, and agencies. We recommend using bilingual interpreters, listening to participants' thoughts and concerns, and using the themes to design programs and communication to address their concerns. And a link to the toolkit is listed here on the CEDIS website under our work and resources. Thank you for your time.